This is yet another video that's going to reference the Backrooms Level Zero lobby photo that I'm stating was a photo of a real environment taken probably in the year 2002. And I base that on everything in the image, looking up the origin stories for when these things were first produced, when they were most available, and when they were most installed, and narrowing it down to being after 1980, and then noticing that the carpet would be 1980s era as well, and also someone else finding out that the image very likely or almost only could have been made from the year 2000 to 2008 by using cameras that did the same compression algorithm, which was under copyright or whatever, and in the ratio and sizing that was used most commonly for those cameras in those period of time. But if you look up the majority of the cameras, they all center around 2001 to 2003, and that means that's the time range. But the reason I say it's 2002 is that's co it's that coincidence to the time when, again, this is from a bunch of marketing blogs for people selling carpet. Yes, that's how boring this exploration was. Them pointing out that in the year 2002 or something like that in that range, that was when a lot of old stock carpet was dumped on the market. It was either stuff literally from the 1980s or stuff using the 1980s style that might have been made more recently but never sold much. Carpet, like every other interior decoration, like clothing, goes through a timing cycle. And a bunch of stuff from the 1980s that suddenly felt oppressive when you went into the go-go 90s, or whatever you want to call it at that point, people decided to use different colors. So the huge stock of beige carpet wasn't being used as much. Now remember, there was still carpet that was installed in floors all over the place. So everybody associated it with the work environment and as it went further and further in time, the later and later you entered the workplace and went into the other's office, the more dank and obnoxious and annoying that carpet might seem to you, if you actually had an opinion. I tended to avoid thinking about it. Now I'm going to bring up my personal experience. In the year 2002, and I, I, have, I went through my records and tried to find stamps for that day, but here we go. Sometime in 2002, I don't know the exact date, I worked overtime and unloaded a couple of trucks worth of old beige carpet that said 1980s era and that's when it was put out on the market and there was a glut of it and it's only noted in a couple of blogs and that sort of thing but it's enough to point to that year specifically but sometime between 2001 and 2003 people would have been putting in quote-unquote new carpeting that could have been made as old as 1980s that had polyester fibers in it that looked like it was new if it was rolled up and kept from the sunlight and they would be putting it in. And it was bargain basement being sold at a penny on the, on the dollar. Now, someone posted today about something specific. But I'm going to get to that in a minute. The main thing I'm saying here is that all of the data, including the information about the image, says 2002 is when it was done. Now, this isn't based on analyzing the image. Here's where we segue into the question for the day. The image, the oldest copy we can find, is from 2008, April. I think it's April. And it was done, I, I think, at 5 a.m. in the morning, if you reference to London time. <clears throat> now, this was done on an image board, and it was in an anonymous subsection, a lot like a subreddit, called B, for random board. And yes, it was that specific chan, if you were curious. But the point is, when you upload the image, you can name it, like, like the video I had, Backrooms level zero lobby photo, but on the system it has to store it with a unique identifier code, or it has to store it in some way that's unique and hard to hard to confuse and screw up. And on many systems, at least the the way you can view it, if you download that image, the image doesn't have the name it had before. It has this string of numbers, and those numbers represent the century, year, month, day, hour, minute, and second it was uploaded down to the second. That makes them unique. The system can easily identify when the image was first posted. <clears throat> now here's where we get into the weeds here. On an image board, images take up a ridiculous pornographically huge amount of space. It's a, it's a deal killer. But if someone uploads an image in 2018, and then you find they're uploading an identical image in 2022, instead of storing a second copy of it, you make a reference to the older image if they were absolutely identical. And then make it to where if you download from this thread from this year, it gives you the time and date stamp from the thread posting. 
meaning it doesn't have a true file name anymore. Now, when you look at the thread, it might say, cool image I found, or it might say backrooms photo. But if they're all the same photo, it's going to store it once and leave it. So the oldest one becomes preeminent, unless someone deletes it. Now, here's the weird thing. What if they delete it, but the system still keeps a copy of it because it's been referenced over and over again? This creates a problem in databases. Many systems handle it different ways. Now, I've just dragged everybody into the weeds and let me pull you back out of it. It's not weeds, it's shit. On that particular image board, if you look up that image, you can look up all other versions of it that are identical. And the oldest one shows up as not being 2012. It shows up in 2018, April. But when you look at the file name, it was named as by the person who uploaded it. Something they had total control over. It looks exactly like a Unix timestamp from 2012. Because any number like that will be a 2012 timestamp unless you make it too long or too short. Does that mean they downloaded it from a image board or that image board in 2012? Maybe. Does it prove it? Not even a little bit because I could, I, I probably have to dig a little bit, but I can find, I, one time I counted 100 examples of people doing the same thing, trying to make it top post by making it look like the oldest posting. It doesn't work. Obviously, if you could change how old the file looks, you could claim to be first. I didn't explain it well enough, so let's review. <clears throat> Why did I come up with 2002? personal experience, and also looking up blogs. And it just kind of clicked in my head. Oh yeah, I remember unloading a truck like that. Next, because the camera that took the photo, virtually only a camera, was 2000, 2008, but almost all of them, the mind-smashing majority of them, were from 2001 to 2003, and 2002 is right in the middle. Good guess. And also I have personal experience from them. That's likely. I don't think it's a 1980s era photo because all of the cameras existed after the 80s and 90s, and after the year 2000, except for two of them. So I'm saying 2002, because that's the majority of cameras. It's just odds. And I'm using my slight amount of experience with dyeing the interiors of cars, dyeing carpeting in cars, dyeing carpeting in buildings, and doing carpet rip-up in high-rise buildings, office buildings and housing, that were for leased areas during really bad or really good times building owners that have space that they're leasing out to businesses or people, it doesn't matter, will fix the carpet after you leave and clean the place up so it looks brand new. It's a selling point. They're either really desperate for money or they are really well healed, but they just want to turn it quickly. No matter what time it is, they're not going to be trying to make you move out and, and not want to be there unless they're trying to get ready to get better customer. So I've worked repairing the, the carpeting. And sometimes you patch it up with whatever's available. Beige is really easy to do. And then a colorist comes in and they completely deep clean everything and then retint it. That doesn't happen very much anymore. 1980s era carpet, polyester fibers, don't age badly. You have to clean it harder. You might have to blotch it up on purpose to make it look like a blotch pattern with a colorist coming in, dyeing it. And I've done that. But the point is, that's why the stuff's used. And more of it was available in 2002 for the lowest cost I could see because I was able to buy, if I wanted to, for 50 bucks, a roll that I could never find enough use of. We were throwing this stuff out at one point. It was so cheap. So that really lines up nicely for 2002. Now, I told someone a response here. So here we go with the just answering questions. No one can seem to figure out this mystery. I am looking to. Do you know where the original image is from? Yes, North America, and specifically the United States. Almost, uh, I, I, as far as it being North America, 100% chance. I mean, there's so little uh, lots of it being anywhere else. But I could be totally wrong. And as for it being the United States, over an 80% chance, probably 90. But I don't know what part of the United States yet. I don't see any way of finding that out. That's going to be up to someone else. That's why I figured that was the last video I'd do. The last known, or the earliest occurrence of it, is 2012 on an image board. Then again, I'm sure you're already aware of this, and I posted back this quip. It's not a good enough answer. The uploader changed the title into a 2012 Unix timestamp, or they just used a random number string by just slapping keyboard and ended up that way. I should have pointed out that it could have just been them doing it on purpose or by accident. Sorry. Next, I also said, the in then they uploaded it in 2018. If you open that pic, 
you'll see it's renamed to the Unix time it was uploaded 2018 as it's supposed to be. So it's not from 2012. Now I might not have made that clear. I hope I have at the 10 minute mark here. So that's how it happens on the servers. Now the thing is, again, I got to point out something. If you use Unix timing, some systems let you just change for image naming or whatever you're using it for. It's almost like a random number generator almost. In fact, it's used as a source for random number generators. Um, you can tell it to use not 1970, but a different year if you want. You can use your birth date. That, that makes it different enough. And, well, uh, image boards are notorious for arguing with or annoying trolls who keep messing with the time and date stamp. Hey, this says it was made from before I was born. You know, you can change the timer to whatever you want to. Because it's not a timer anymore. It's simply a source for naming of files. You can tell it to artificially subtract or add numbers all you want. You can tell it to say it's 1902. You know, there is a Unix timestamp that's the equivalent to 1902. It exists. So, um, or whatever it is. I don't know what the timestamp is if you use the other sign for it. I'd have to do an experiment. Next, Virtual Carbon said it was supposed to be a repost of an image from July 15th, 20, 2012, excuse me, from the image board. It could be any image board. A lot of them use the same thing. And again, they can change the epoch time. They don't have to use a stable time that's Unix-based, although it's just left that way. Some of them change it to their birth date. That way it would last longer because there's a problem with it. If you use Unix time, it stops working correctly in the year 2038. Then again, some servers are run by people who mess with it so that they can annoy people. If they hear it a hundred times, well, that image says it was done on this date and you were wrong because you know what you're doing. Changing Unix time prompt used for image naming I'm going to have to tell it to use the epoch of the year 2000. I've done that myself on, on purpose because it got rid of this being something where the computer program would say, hey, this doesn't have a year that matches. Okay, I'll make it really not match. Okay, and then it shuts up. I mean, sometimes they do that just because they're testing the system and they leave it that way. But the most likely thing here is since the uploader had control over the name that they called it, they just put in the name that they wanted to and it shouldn't be used as a basis for anything. Anyway... I've been checking every part of the internet for July 14th and July 15th of 2012 and can't find a damn thing. I know, for two reasons. Number one, you have to also do the next day. You have to do July 16th. That's kind of a newbie mistake, but not really. And the next thing is, you wouldn't find it because it wasn't uploaded that time necessarily. It might have been. I mean, it could be from 2012, I guess. I know that the image was taken in 2002, so it could be any time. But the presumption it has to be from 2012, it has to be July 15th, is based on somebody manually changing the name of it. So the person says, that doesn't make sense. I hope you're joking. Why would the uploader do that? Why change it to reflect a 2012 repost? On 4chan, in the random board, with B-tards. Why would anybody do that? Because it's literally a frothing, seething undulating, boiling mass of trolls. That's the entire point of the board. It was also called the ban board at one point. That's why, if you're not aware, of one of the jokes about B is it's called the ban board. If you're banned from every other board, at least you can play on B. Or bad board. or the, That's it. The, the answer is what board it was found under. Uh, IR old fart. Because we can't say old fag anymore. We have to say fag o tree. Because... It's a tree that drinks Fago. The point I'm making here is the person who uploaded it had control over the file name. If they uploaded the photo image taken in the year 2005, would that make it 2005? All you know is the upload date. The other reason it's named that way, another reason people will change the time and date stamp to look older, is because they want to claim that they're the first or they're the author. And again, people have tried to contact that actual poster and get an explanation out of them and have gotten nothing because it was an anonymous poster that really didn't make themselves trackable. So again, it doesn't have to be from 2012. It could be, but that basis that Virtual Carbon brought up is actually not useful. He's not a bad person. He just, that's not real good. Next, if you're going to search, you have to include the day after, before, and during because that's how image boards work sometimes. They screw up at midnight specifically. I'm not kidding. It can happen. That's another thing it's trying to fix. And the next thing is, it doesn't have to be based on Unix time. It can be based on a random number generator or just changing the epoch time to any year you want. 
Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck.